my favorite with talking about the densities of water, okay? This one, this experiment deals with hot versus cold solutions. Or, I'm sorry, hot versus cold water. The density of hot water compared to the density of cold water. In this bottle here, I have hot water in the red bottle, and then in the blue bottle, I have cold water, okay? I'm going to use a little science magic, and I'm going to put blue water into this Erlenmeyer flask, red water into this Erlenmeyer flask. Mason jars work great. Those are jars that you can use for canning. And I'm going to flip one on top of the other, okay? I'm going to let you pick which one I flip one on top. Do I put the green or the blue, the cold on the hot, or the hot on the cold? Uh, I think the cold on the hot. The cold on the hot? Okay. And then we'll do the other way. So first I'll do cold on hot, and then I'll do hot on cold. I'm going to ask you, if I put cold water on top of hot water, what is going to happen between the two waters? Oh. Will cold mix and try and fall down because it has a higher density than the warm, or, will, or the hot, or will the hot want to fall down on front, you know, fall down into the cold because it's has a higher density. Which one? Uh, I think that the hot's probably going to fall down into the cold because you think hot has a higher density. Yeah. Okay. So let's give this a go. Ready? You said cold on to the hot first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to do hot and then cold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little index card, hold over my Erlenmeyer. Watch out. This is going to get you wet, Justin. I'm just kidding. This is a fun, fun experiment. Let's see what happens when I put the cold on top of the hot. Now, very carefully, I know as excited as you are to do the science and you want to shake the table, don't shake the table. We are going to compare that combination to the hot on the bottom. I mean, the hot on the top. Now, if you were to try this at home, do you want to use really, really hot water? No. Do you see me spilling water all over the place? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to spill water on yourself, or hot water on yourself. Okay, so I want to put the hot on top of the cold. And let's see what this tells us about the densities between hot and cold water. <gasps> Voila! What do you think? Uh, I think that the red's staying on the top and the blue's staying on the bottom. So which one has a higher density, hot water or cold water? Hot water?